I'm Sierra Gillespie and this is Law & Crime News. 54-year-old Sean Diddy Combs, a once beloved and celebrated music artist and entrepreneur, now faces federal charges of racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking by force, fraud or coercion, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Diddy was indicted by a grand jury last week and taken into custody at a Manhattan hotel. After that, he was booked in Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center. He's been denied bail twice since then, a federal judge ruling that's where Diddy will remain as he awaits trial. At court appearances last week, Diddy denied the charges and pleaded not guilty. His legal team has been very outspoken, calling the accusations, quote, the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide. After his arrest, Diddy's attorney Mark Agnipolo released a statement saying in part, quote, we are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Agnipolo went on to say that Diddy will likely testify at his trial to explain his side of the story. Today I'm announcing the unsealing of a three-count indictment, charging Sean Combs with racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking, interstate transportation for prostitution. The indictment alleges that between at least 2008 and the present, Combs abused, threatened, and coerced victims to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. As alleged in the indictment, to carry out this conduct, Sean Combs led and participated in a racketeering conspiracy that used the business empire he controlled to carry out criminal activity, including sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and the obstruction of justice. Let me say a little bit more about the charges. The indictment alleges that Combs abused and exploited women and other people for years and in a variety of ways. Diddy's son allegedly cooperates with FBI after home raid. In a shocking twist, rumors are circulating that Diddy's own son, Quincy, may be cooperating with the FBI following a raid on his father's home. Could Quincy be the one to help take down Diddy? Or is this just another unfounded rumor? In today's video, we'll dive into the speculation surrounding Quincy's potential involvement with federal authorities and what it could mean for Diddy's case moving forward. As you watch the clip that I'm about to show you, remember the charges that Diddy has been pressed with and keep an open mind. It is disturbing. So, because <laughs> on the streets, and then Papa Coombs decided that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. That was on a live stream, by the way, and afterwards Diddy tried to cover it up, but you can clearly hear her words there. He picked her up off of the street and said to come in and play with his kids. Pretty crazy, right? Especially when you consider the charges currently against Diddy, including allegations involving a nine-year-old. Would you want your daughter to be going over to Diddy's house? I imagine not. Well, in this case, it was live streamed exactly what happened. And it gets so creepy when you realize that she wasn't even there with anyone in her family or even there necessarily to be with other children of Diddy's. She was there because he saw her and wanted her to be. Six months is I always come over? Yes. Yeah. And it's Ava Brioni Combs. Come on. That's the most creepy part right there. He kisses her on camera it's on the cheek but that right there alludes to this potentially being grooming that's what it feels like to me now if i'm wrong and you get a different vibe feel free to comment that down below but the vibe i overwhelmingly get here is that he is trying to set this up to be with her now that we know all the charges against him all the things he has allegedly done the feds have gone after him pretty hardcore we've also seen footage of him literally beating up a woman that's on camera so we know what he's capable of that's terrifying she's in his house He's touching her. He's kissing her cheek. He thinks he's invincible. He feels comfortable live streaming it. Oh, the whole world can see. Is he trying to brag about it? This is crazy. And it was allowed to go on for how long? How many people knew about this? Well, the answer, according to one of the lawyers involved, is a lot of people not only knew about it, but also participated in it. We were talking about very high profile names that will shock you. The justice that the kids deserve is finally here. It's going to be very, very, very important that we fight harder than ever. I'm Matt Wallace. Make sure to follow with the notifications on here on Rumble, and I will see you in the next video.
Following the FBI's raid on Diddy's Miami home, sources close to the family claim that Quincy may be cooperating with investigators. While there's no official confirmation, insiders suggest that Quincy has distanced himself from his father in recent years and may have valuable information that could aid the FBI's case. If true, this would be a major betrayal and could complicate Diddy's already precarious legal situation. Quincy has yet to make any public statements, but fans are speculating about his role in the investigation. Some believe that Quincy is simply trying to protect himself, while others think he may have been coerced into cooperating with the feds. In the days leading up to her death, and that her water bottles, and sports drinks, and Pedialyte were all in her bedroom. Days after her death, Sean Combs commented publicly about Porter, writing on Instagram, for the last three days I've been trying to wake up out of this nightmare, but I haven't. I don't know what I'm going to do without you, baby. I miss you so much. Today I'm going to pay tribute to you. I'm going to try and find the words to explain our unexplainable relationship. We were more than best friends. We were more than soulmates. We were some other S. And I miss you so much. Super black love. Now Combs would reportedly tell Essence Magazine the following year that one night I was checking on her and she was like, Puppy, take care of my babies. She actually said that to me before she died. Now, during her funeral, which was out in her hometown in Georgia, Combs delivered a eulogy, talking about the love that he has for Porter, how close he was with her, how she will always be with him, how she was somebody that was sent to help him in life. And he ended by saying, quote, I just want to say to my kids, Justin, Christian, Delilah, Jesse, Chance, and the other man in the house, Quincy, your mother instilled in me this, and I pledge in front of everybody right now that I will always be there for you said, and the audience was applauding when he said this, I will always take care of you. Either way, the rumors have added another layer of drama to an already sensational case. If Quincy is indeed working with the FBI, it could spell disaster for Diddy's defense. Family betrayals are rare in high-profile cases like this, and the implications could be devastating. Do you think Quincy is really cooperating with the FBI, or is this just another rumor? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on Diddy's ongoing legal battles. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.